Hi, Andrew here. So continuing our series on defensive pistol ammunition gel testing, today we're going to test Fiocchi 357 Magnum 125 grain XTP. We're going to shoot it out of a 4 inch revolver as well as a 16 inch carbine. Let's get out to the range and take a look. One, four, three, two. One, four, two, zero. Okay, so we had near instant expansion, decent temporary stretch cavity for a pistol, a little bit of fragmentation here, here, here. Didn't come very far off the main track, if at all. Looks like probably fairly decent retained weight, especially for an XTP. We tend to see a little bit more fragmentation off these XTPs. This is kind of neat. We almost lost this bullet right here. It stopped at 19.9 inches. The other one stopped directly between the blocks at 16.4 inches. Both expanded well. Overall, did pretty well, even if it went a little bit deep on this one. Let's see how it does with the heavy clothing. One five zero four. One five zero three. All right. So I saw someone on another YouTube channel, sorry I can't remember which one, use soft armor to back up gel blocks, and I can't believe I didn't think of that, but I stole the idea and I'm glad I did, because both of these turned sideways and exited the block. First shot here, second shot here. I found one of them <laughs> in the dirt. They both hit the soft armor and bounced off. They did expand, but not a whole lot. I'm going to go ahead and take another shot and see if we can stop it. One, five, six, four. Okay, so I finally got one to stop in there. Came to rest at 21.2 inches. These others were stopped by the body armor. They also came out the side of the block at various different spots. Again, the expansion seemed to happen pretty early. About an inch and a half or so. It's not bad, really. Okay, so less expansion, more penetration, but maybe not a total failure. Uh, again, it still exceeds that FBI max of 18 inches. And by that measure, it's not a great choice, at least for defense against human beings, but maybe a pretty decent choice for trail defense. All of that leaves one wondering, how would it do out of carbine? So let's find out. Let's shoot it out of the 16 inch Rossi M92 into bear gel. One, six, six, six. Six, 
Okay, so out of three shots, one exited here, one stopped here, one stopped here. Penetration is 13.4 and 15.3 inches. You can see virtually instant expansion, lots of fragmentation that comes well off the primary track. As much as one and a half inches away from the main track. Big, huge temporary stretch cavity. Generally speaking, <laughs> that would give somebody a really bad day. Now in this case, <laughs> as often happens with the carbine, it really wakes up that round <laughs> and squeezes a lot more from it. We did see a fair amount of fragmentation and therefore less retained weight but the penetration was near perfect, obviously good, large expansion. And of course, had I had room in the block for a heavy clothing test with the carbine, we might see a little bit less expansion, but it's moving along fast enough that at that point, heavy clothing usually doesn't make a big difference with that kind of velocity. If you have any questions, if you think I got something wrong, if you just want to tell me how handsome I am, definitely leave a comment below. If you have the time, head on over and visit our sponsor Ventura. Take a look at what they have in stock and come back here and let us know what you'd like to see us test next. As always, please like and share and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. We appreciate your support. Have a great day.